Thank you so much for being here. This is Ashwini Prasad, your host of the Inclusive Storytelling Podcast. If you're liking these episodes, please leave a review, download, comment if you're on YouTube, and share these episodes. Feel free to connect with me at theinclusivescreenwriter.com or on Twitter and Instagram at the Inclusive Screenwriter. In addition to being an anti-racism and anti-oppression educator, I'm a screenwriter, self-published author, and of course, a podcast host. So if I can make our media more inclusive with you, feel free to reach out. All right, let's jump into our episode. The Titanic sank 110 years ago. So the Titanic sank in between April 14th and April 15th in 1912. Now in this episode, we're going to discuss two groups of people who are not generally discussed when we think and look at the Titanic in movies and pictures and stories about this vessel. The first is Joseph Philippe Le Mercier LaRouche, who was 25, and he was from Haiti. Him and his pregnant wife, Juliet, and their two daughters, Simone and Louise, were on the ship's maiden voyage. Now, Joseph, Simone, and Louise were the only black passengers on the Titanic. Joseph was born into a prosperous and powerful family on May 26, 1886 in Haiti. Now, Joseph was the nephew of the then Haitian president. As a child, Joseph took an interest in engineering and was sent to study in France at the age of 15. And when visiting a tiny French village several years later, he met his wife, Juliette. After earning an engineering degree, he turned to the Paris job market. Unfortunately, even though Joseph was a skilled professional with a degree and he was fluent in English, French, and Creole, he was finding very little opportunity for his growing family. And so Joseph and Juliet decided to return to Haiti in 1912. Joseph's mother was so happy that she actually bought the family first class tickets on the French liner La France as a reunion gift. However, due to conflicting accommodations that would leave Joseph and Julia away from their children, they decided to actually exchange their tickets for second class reservations on the new White Star Liner RMS Titanic. The family boarded the Titanic on April 10th, 1912. Now we know what happened with the Titanic and unfortunately, Joseph's body was never recovered. His family was able to escape the Titanic and Juliet returned to France uh, with her daughters in grief, and Joseph's uncle was actually assassinated in Haiti just four months after the Titanic sank. Juliet gave birth to their son in December 1912, who was named after his father, Joseph Jr., and Joseph Jr. died in 1987, and Louise is known to be the last remaining child and the last French survivor of the sinking, and Louise died in 1998. Now, I definitely want to see more of this family and understand their background, and definitely want to learn more about the non-white passengers on the Titanic. Ah Lam Fang Lang Len Lam Shong Fu Chung Chip, Ling He, Li Bing, and Li Ling. These are the names of the eight Chinese nationals that were on board the Titanic. Now, unfortunately, Lam and Ling did not survive. For the six that did survive the Titanic, the Titanic sinking would only be the beginning of their struggles. The horrible and racist Chinese Exclusion Act, which was present in the United States, barred these Chinese laborers and many other from entering the United States. And this Chinese Exclusion Act was in effect in 1912 and wouldn't be repealed until 1943. 
So the six surviving Titanic survivors who were Chinese nationals were taken directly to Ellis Island for processing and were shipped away to Cuba. Now for context, all of the other surviving Titanic passengers bypassed Ellis Island. And what's important to note is that these men were experienced sailors and were probably traveling across the Atlantic for work in the Caribbean. Horrible, horrible rumors were spread about these uh, Chinese folks that were on the Titanic, that they were taking places of uh, female and children passengers by hiding themselves. And unfortunately, there were two that were crushed to death. And so there is said to be no evidence that the men stowed away or took the place of women and children on any of the lifeboats. And it's also said that the men were hiding, but it would have been impossible for them to hide in any of the lifeboats, let alone in that freezing cold at night. And so there is now a documentary that is put together uh, called The Six by Arthur Jones and Stephen Schwachert that talk about these six folks that survived and the two that did not. And they actually went and took a look at all of the survivors and noticed that their descendants are all over the world. And they were able to track down a lot of the descendants of the surviving men. And what was interesting in the documentary is that the creators found that a lot of these men's relatives, uh, the six that survived, their relatives did not know that they had survived the Titanic sinking. So the six documentary is something that um, tries to dig deep into these men and really be in a space where they should be, which is their rightful place in history. I would love to know so much more about these men, what they did, how they got to the Titanic, and how their lives were afterwards, and also understanding their struggles as they try to survive this horrific, horrific tragedy that happened 110 years ago. I know I would like to learn more about all eight of these passengers and definitely the lineage um, given the family will say yes of these men of the six that survived to learn more about their lives and, and to understand the Titanic and its tragedy a little bit better. Thanks again for being here. And again, if you're liking these episodes, feel free to leave a review, download, comment, and share. And always remember, if I can support you in making our media more inclusive, feel free to reach out. I'm a screenwriter, podcast host, and an author. And I am at theinclusivescreenwriter.com or the Inclusive Screenwriter on Twitter and Instagram.